Oh, it's that time. Uh, today is a double unboxing slash introduction to some crazy new hard steels that you might not have gotten into. Powdered steels, uh, high, super speed, high speed steels. I mean, we're entering into a new age for those of you who are not into sharpening. If you're into sharpening, good luck. Um, today we have a ZDP 189 and a HAP 40. Okay, so what does that mean to you? ZDP 189 is this steel that's heated between a 65 to 67. Um, so if you don't know, like in the Rockwell hardness, that's way up there, okay? Sharpening these bad boys are very difficult. Chances are what you're doing is you bought a great knife with a great edge to keep this edge for a long time and you really need some skills to get it sharp again. Same thing with Hat 40. Um, we'll get more into the steels in just a second. Let's get into it. Um, so, we got a double unboxing. So if you've been on social media, you've seen that I put a new handle on this. So even though we haven't unboxed it, we kind of took a little unboxing because oh, we lady. put a custom handle on it. So the ZDP 189 by Yoshida, this comes from the Sharp Edge Knife Company. Um, this is a dangerous puppy, okay? It is a hard knife. Not necessarily as brittle, but it is a hard knife. And yes, there is some tashimi. There is some hammering there. Yes, there is some rawness to it. If there's any scratches near the choil, that's on me because I'm the one that replaced the handle. But there's your ZDP. ZDP 189 official. And by the way, while you're there, ch definitely check out this handle by um, Josh from Let's Handle This over in England. It was really nice of him to fit something for this. This composite material is just absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, definitely proud to have his work on. We have it on our Zinc, our Dinka 195 millimeter. Um, and we've got one of his handles we're going to be putting on our Shigafusa Santoku. Okay, so while my, my wife is getting a little bit more look at that Tashimi and that line, um, you know, it doesn't really need much protection. I mean, this is the hard steel. So ZDP 189, like I said, 65 to 67. Basically, this steel contains so much more. I mean, it's it's got 3% carbon, which is like one of the main elements. Um, it's got more chromium, more tungsten, more vanadium, more everything. I mean, so in, in the end, when they upped it to all the hardness, you're able to grind it thin and get an incredible edge. And because it's that hard, um, it takes a while to, to lose the edge. So it's gonna be painful when we dull this knife specifically so we can sharpen again. Um, hell, it might even be difficult to dull it. Oh, but we'll find So the Yoshida family you know, deals exclusively with this. Um, in 2017, when ZDP 189 became available, the, uh, the, you see the family like really got involved. And one of the other things you might need to know is they do a sub-zero heat treat on this knife, which means when they go to purify the steel, I mean, it's, it just performs better. Um, it's the, the sub-zero heat treat is done after quenching. Um, it removes all the, I mean, it removes anything, any of the excess. I can't even say half the words like austenite which hasn't been converted to martensite. Um, so these things prevent the knife from bending with time. It's a stable, it's stabilizing its structure. I mean, yes, I'm having to read some of this crazy scientific stuff off to you guys to be intact. Um, but the scientific gibberish is, it's the big deal. I mean, it's everything when it comes to this. Imagine how hard it is for Yoshida to even deal with the steel to get it sharp for you. There's not a lot of people that can handle making this knife at this um, at this hardness so mad props to them and chances are if you're looking for a zdp 189 knife you're probably going to go with the zd family um if there's some color changes i have no idea what was happening okay so, so from warm to cool and i don't even know how to we got it. a color <laughs> correction and you know we're trying to do it post um so over here we have kanjo uh hap 40. now the kanjo the HAP 40 is right up there as well, okay? So again, like here's the, we'll just show you the handle real quick. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure like what this particular handle is made out of. Okay, but this is again, it's a powdered steel. It has 20% more carbon than say VG10. So it's hardened higher. Let me go ahead and sit that down because my wife hates it when I'm moving these things around. Yeah, love you, but yeah. So you can see that little bit of the tashimi. You can see the core along the edge. Um, I'm not sure if it needs a core, if it's protected on the outside by say a softer stainless. But again, um, I don't have the, the Rockwell hardness on this. I'm definitely gonna put it above 65. Um, typically when people are making something with these two steels, they're making lasers. Uh, Kanjo, it's a Seki City knife family okay so there's just not a lot of information on this hat 40 bunka i'm a big fan of the bunka we our daughter's come to visit hey jojo's hey, you want to say jojo's you want to be on the show uh, yeah yeah all right so we're definitely super excited to see what kind of edge let me and i'm going to show the spine of that knife um Definitely super thin. Definitely excited. Let's go ahead and do a comparison too. I'll hold this one. Nope, you're just right where you are. I mean, so we have like a 190 millimeter knife versus 165 millimeter. Um, the distal taper, I think the Hat 40 knife is just thin all around. I mean, it's thin even at the at the the base. Changing your angle. Okay. Making your angle match mine. There you go, folks. There's a better shot. And you know I love that K-tip. I always talk about that. You know, you're really able to get in there with the shallots and the garlic. And, and there's just something masculine about that. I mean, that, I'm just a fan. What can I say? I, you know, everybody's got their choices. That's mine. Right. So, so um, so we're going we're gonna to do our best. Now, I have had these knives... A long time in the box i mean this one got worked around a little bit in a shop getting i was actually making a handle we got a video coming out soon of handle making um so we definitely did our best to not hurt the edge but it's been handled a lot by me in a workshop even though it was covered in tape and like whatever um and someone better than myself made a beautiful handle so we'll see what kind of performance we can get out of it I have never sharpened these steels. We got a video coming up where I'm going to be sharpening them. Well, let's go ahead and see uh, what kind of performance we can get out of this. All right, so who's going to be first on uh, the ZDP? ZDP that's the one we open first. Okay. And that's what I expected to see. I expected to see something like a 113. That was the one that, yeah, that's the one that's been. I mean, it's supposed to be a laser. And you've, and you've had to deal with that one without. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been afraid of it. I've been super afraid of it. You got to have respect, man, or you'll get hurt. Okay, well. I mean, that's pretty consistent. <laughs> that was very consistent. Nice. So, I mean, if you know, you know, you don't got to know. I mean, that's awesome, you know. He's <laughs> all little smart guys, right? He's like, hmm. I mean, can you imagine if I just did a little leather on it for like a second? I mean, hey, does he, anything like this even roll its edge? Does it doesn't even need the leather? Well, I don't know. How long know. is that thing going to stay that sharp? I mean, seriously. Well, that's the point of them making the knife so hard is it should stay sharp for a long time. That's a whole nother episode. All right, so we got the Conjo Hat 40. Good there you go. So we got a 139. We love all those sub 200 scores. I don't know if you guys saw the knife was kind of teetering uh -uh. on the wire because I was literally just 
just not- you know dumb man i don't want to help it at all so i'm i'm just i got my like look you can see me like barely right so i'm holding this here i'm like dropping it I don't know if that one was fair, but okay. We got. We'll do one more. Yeah. I also believe that I actually had the knife kind of towards not in the middle of okay. the. I think it was um towards like the edge of the prong. Okay. I've never done that, nor do I know if that hurts you or not. So it's about the same. About the same. Okay. Okay. So we're definitely sub 200. The HAP 40 is extremely sharp at sub 200. I mean, 168, 161. I think it was the other one. Obviously, you're super happy. 113. But my wife brought up a good point. You wonder, like in the kitchen, you know, how long is it going to stay that sharp? And that is a whole other episode where you go and get all these. We'll do something where we'll get some rope or something and we'll cut it, get a bunch of steels. No, there's people who do this, babe. They. They literally take like, it's and they just start, long, no, but they literally take this like, they literally take this rope and they take like a super sharp knife, do the score, do like 200 cuts and test to do like a hundred and then just go like, how sharp is it after all that? And it's the same material over and over and over again. Um, so we are going to be, oh, let's do a paper towel. I mean, do I even do regular paper? This thing's 113. Yeah. Okay. Paper. We always do regular paper. Okay, so we're listening. We like the shh sound. For the shh. <laughs> listening for the silence. I mean, it just catches it so clean. Now, now she, you know. Okay. Shh. Paper towel. So we're on the ZDP 189. I mean, it should happen, yeah, you know. I mean, just to get that score. No, yeah. Score a little bit, but yeah. Oh, my fingers are so close. Okay, well, let's not do that. We're not going to get injured on the show. We don't have time for that. Okay, so. All right. So, again, the hap. You know, it's funny because you can hear the difference between 113 and 168. Yeah, but. Aside from that, does the weight, do you, I mean, just, does thickness or weight play any factor in that? Or is it no, but I'm going to tell you what, how thickness? easy is that, right? There? That was sick. That was like, <laughs> that was easy, you know, like, like, look at the turning and the, you know, okay, like, do not lose it over there. It was a little harder to turn because of the how big the knife was. Well, that, that, that's because it's so thick. Like, it's it's a tall knife yeah. compared to that one. That one's easier to maneuver as far as your... Yes! Okay. Again, one more, one more. I'm playing, I'm playing. Wait, you guys... No, wait, you didn't paper towel the... Okay, I haven't paper toweled. The half so let's see if 168 will paper towel. This knight weighs nothing, okay. by the way. I mean, it really is like you were saying. It's like super light. Yeah, it's, you know. Um, Different feel, though, yeah. Yeah, like the knife weighs nothing. Started to tear a little bit there. Yep. This thing is considerably heavier. Heavier. Yeah, so beautiful. Glad to have them. Can't wait. You want to hold one? Okay, well, it's better. If you want me to get good shots of these, then no. Can't we just hold it just for the heck of it? So grab this one right here, Bruce. I don't care if I hold them. Yeah, grab that one. Just feel how light that one is. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, it's pretty light. Okay, now this one. Hold on. 
definitely definitely a weight difference for sure. Yeah, definitely a weight difference. I don't know if it's the handle or I think it's the it's the amount of it, steel. Yeah, it's I, thicker. It's bigger. I, I feel like it's that, but yeah. and hopefully y'all didn't lose that. There was a weird thing that popped up on my camera. So. Okay. So we are going to be shooting an episode where we dull. Oh, fun. Uh, we always love doing that to amazing knives. Pretty we're going to dull both of these knives and we're going to sharpen ZDP 189 and Hat 40 on CBN and Diamond Stones. So definitely stay tuned for that. We love entertaining you with that. That was definitely not a dull moment. We appreciate you always tuning in Friday nights at 8 o'clock. We have a lot planned this year, so we just appreciate you guys coming. God bless. We're out. Hey, Joe.